Now let's understand the role of 0 and the role of 1. Now if you see 0 and you add it to any number, we find that 5 plus 0 will give us 5, 6 plus 0 will give us 6. So what happens is that when we add 0 to any number, we get the number back. Therefore, 0 is called an additive identity. It is called an additive identity. So, why is it called an additive identity is that when we add 0 to a number, we are getting the number itself. However, if you multiply, let's say 5 into 0, we are not going to get the number, we are going to get 0. So, it is not true for multiplication, it is only true for addition. So, 0 is an additive identity. But when we look at 1, if I multiply 1 with any number, then I get the number itself. 5 into 1 is 5. So, we find we are multiplying 5 with 1, we get the number. 6 into 1, we are getting the number. So, 1 is called the multiplicative identity. So, this is the difference in the property of 0 and 1. When we multiply any 0 with a number, then we are getting 0. So, the number is not obtained. But when we multiply a number with 1, we get the number. So, 1 is called a multiplicative identity, whereas 0 is called additive identity. Next, we are going to study how we are going to find numbers between two rational numbers. So, if we are having, let us say, a number 3 by 5 and another number we are having 1 by 2 and we have to find a number between this. So, the best way to find this is that first we see that the denominator should be same. The denominator at the moment is 5 here and 2 here. The LCM of 5 and 2 is 10. We will see 5 goes 2 times in 10. So, 2 into 3 we are getting 6 upon 10. And here we are taking the LCM as 10. 2 goes 5 times. 5 into 1 is 5. Now, if you look at these numbers, this is 6 by 10 and this is 5 by 10. There is no number between 5 and 6. So, what we do is simply just multiply it by 2 and also divide by 2. Here also we are going to repeat the process into 2 into 2. So, this becomes 12 by 20 and this becomes 10 by 20. We find that the number between 10 by 20 and 12 by 20 is 11 upon 20. So, we can find out like this one number, two number, three number and n numbers between two rational numbers.